Hey guys, DBL here with another game unboxing. This time we've got something special for you. We've got uh, the Wii U system, the deluxe version. It just came out earlier today. I was the first person in line to get mine, so lucky me. As well as uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the Wii U. So, without further ado, let's get on with this thing. Like I said, we've got uh, Black Ops 2 here. I already did a game unboxing for Black Ops 1, and this is a much different so. Let's go ahead and get to the system. Right, let's see that. Sides. You can see it comes with a 32 gigabyte system. I, I got the deluxe version, so it's the black one. One Wii U gamepad controller. The AC adapter for the system, the AC adapter for the controller itself, so you don't have to use batteries in it. An HDMI cable. The sensor bar, which you can put above or beneath your TV. The stand. I think this is the stand for the actual controller. The stand for the system, and the stand for something else. I wasn't too sure on that. Along with the Wii game. See on the front. Nintendo Land. <clears throat> for those of you who know, I also got the deluxe digital promotion. I guess I can explain that a little bit later, but right now it's good enough to break this baby open. This is bad. You believe So right off the bat, there's Nintendo Land. Which, for those of you who don't know, is kind of like a carnival of Nintendo-themed games. Think of it like Mario Party, except not exclusively for Mario Party. Alright. First thing out. We have the AC adapters. This one's for the system. And this one's for the actual Wii U gamepad. The instruction booklet. In Spanish. Here's the system's HDMI cable. Nintendo brand, of course. The system's center bar. The system stands. You can put the system up on its side. And the other stands for the controller. Stick this back in there. Next up, we've got the big stuff. Here we go, what we've all been waiting for. This. Is the Wii U gamepad. In basic black. Sexy. It's pretty comfortably in the hand. See it in the front. It's got the front facing camera. The microphone. Home button, digital input pads. It is a touch screen for those who don't know. Two dual analog sticks. And the basic A, B, X, Y input. Start and select. There's the charging port. And the headphone. And I think there's a external microphone jack in there too. So. Now next, we've got the actual system itself. A little bit heavier than the, uh, the regular Wii. How would you expect? So there we go. This is the actual Wii U console. See the disk drive? I'm guessing this is the uh, hard drive. Encasement so you can put your SD cards in here and connect your USB drives there. The Wii U does support USB external hard drives, so it's a good notice. The sync light, the eject and the power buttons, and here are the inputs in the back. There's the AC input and the uh, HD input. I guess this is for uh, SD level videos. The sensor bar input, and two more USB ports. The new filling system. Going back to the gamepad for a moment, this thing feels pretty sturdy. It feels like something that you can drop a couple of times and really not break. Volume tap up at the top. Got it turned on, which 
When you turn it on, it tells you how to sync it with the console itself. We'll be getting to that in a moment. As a matter of fact, we're pretty much done with the system unboxing itself, so we might as well move on to the technical aspect of it. Hey guys, we're back, and now we're going to be taking a look at the more uh, technical aspects of the Wii U. The system menu, some of the options. Uh, you may notice that we're going to head straight into the system menu out of this. We're going to skip system setup, because most of the setup takes place on the tablet. And I didn't record the tablet, I was recording the screen. But anyway, so we're going to go through, show you how to set up your Nintendo Network ID, and um, a few of the features that the Wii U offers. Now, for those of you who actually have your systems, you probably noticed by now that after you set up the internet and everything, you are prompted to update the system software, and this is a huge, huge update that uh, Nintendo has released on us, rather, unleashed upon us. Uh, it's reported to be around 5 gigs, so you might want to turn it on and let it run overnight. The good thing is you do not have to update the system before you play some games. So if you bought Black Ops 2 or maybe Zombie U, and you want to go ahead and start playing those right now, and maybe just leave the Wii U system on to update while you sleep, you can do that which really is kind of a godsend, considering even if you have fast internet. I've got pretty decent internet. I, I get pretty good speeds, and it took me more than two hours to download this thing. It, it's going to take a long, long time. All right, well, here we are at the main Wii U menu. As you, can, you can see there's my little me. Quickly being surrounded by uh, all the additional me's who represent the many different apps and uh, and the little programs you can run with here. This is, uh, the Wii U actually runs two separate system menus. This is the first, and while, while you're viewing one, the other will be viewed on a different platform. Like, if you're using viewing one system menu on the tablet, the other one will be viewing on your actual TV screen. So you can switch between the two. This is the traditional Wii-styled menu. As you can see, it's got the disc first off, the Miiverse for the second option, the Wii U settings, Netflix and YouTube, which are fully functional, I should jump into that later, uh, Amazon and Hulu, the uh, Wii Shop channel, which is added on after, uh, I think after you, um, at the bottom you can see the little handbag there, but it's added on after you update. And see, so you can just switch back and forth between both menus, and they both essentially do the same thing, they just look different. Uh, you can see the little call thing, the, the system call, so you can call other Wii U systems, and that pretty much covers it. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you guys how to set up your Nintendo Network ID. Your Nintendo Network ID is replacing the old friend code system. It's kind of like PSN. There you go. See, a lot of the software you can't actually use until you set up a Network ID, so you can just come down to this, the N on the uh, second menu, and head straight into that. Oops. Oops. I jumped into system settings. Let me back out of there real quick. But anyway, you can uh, you can set up your Nintendo Network ID uh, one of several different ways. First off is that N that I showed you before, it's the orange one. Or you can just simply go straight from your uh, your profile, where you set up your Miis when you first set up your Wii U, and just link your account from there. Alright, here we go. Now that we are back at the main menu, we just simply select the profile. There's TBL. Go into User Settings, View or Modify User Information, and that will take you straight to the uh, account linking screen. Alright, now, much like the previous setup options for the Wii U, the, uh, the options all take place on the Wii U gamepad, which I didn't record because I'm recording the TV screen. But it's pretty basic. It'll ask you to enter in what name you want for your Nintendo Network username, uh, an inappropriate password. Of course, it will filter out any inappropriate words or anything Nintendo deems offensive, so beware of that. Um, and then it'll just ask you to enter in basic information about yourself, like you, you see your birthday to make sure you're the appropriate age for Nintendo games, I, su I assume. It'll ask you to print or tell them what state you live in, as well as the time zone you're currently in. Go. I'm on the Eastern time frame, so I'm scrolling to that. And like I said, this is all happening on the uh, the gamepad. And it'll ask you to enter in your your actual the name you want to choose. 
As you can see, you have to use between 6 and 16 characters, and don't put anything offensive in your name. Or else, Nintendo will get you. Falcon Punch. Next, you'll set a password. Like I said, this is all pretty basic, and if you have the gamepad in your hands, you'll be able to follow it pretty easily. Type that in. And then it'll ask you to con um, confirm a specific email address. Unfortunately, you cannot use email addresses in at we.com, so a we email address will not work. But once you uh, type in your basic email address, it'll send you a confirmation code, which you'll type into a screen at the very end of this. And it'll also ask you to click a link to activate your account online. So you just take down the code, type it into the Wii U system, and then click the activation link, and you're pretty much good from there. The email account, I guess, is going to be used to send you updates, you know, allow you to access password recovery, and basic stuff like that. Give it a couple seconds to register and catch up. Then, once you're all finished with that, like I said, it'll ask you to prompt. It'll prompt you for the uh, confirmation code, and then once you enter all that in, congratulations! You set yourself up with a Nintendo Network ID. See, now it'll actually prompt you to log into the account that you just created. And you, don't worry, you don't have to enter your password every time you turn the Wii on and log into your user. You can set it so that you have to enter it once and then you won't have to do it every time you turn it on. I guess it's more of a safety issue or a privacy issue. You know, if you have a bunch of different accounts with a bunch of different Nintendo network IDs on your Wii U, you can separate them by password so other people can't log into your account. Anyway, that is how you set up your Nintendo network ID and link it to your, uh, your profile on the Wii U. Now you've got access to the Wii Shop channel and can uh, share content between the Wii U, the 3DS, and the original Wii. Yeah, you can now uh, transfer your data from the regular Wii to the Wii U. So for all of you who have Wiis and want to transfer save data and uh, virtual console titles and stuff like that, you can do that now. Which actually, I think that's in the notification section. We should head there next. All right, here back at the uh, traditional menu, there's the there's the notification tab down at the bottom. It's the one that's pulsing. It looks pretty much just like it does on the 3DS. So we're gonna head straight into that and see what uh what good news Nintendo brought us today. I think right now I've only got about three letters in there, so it won't take long. Yep, there we go. See. So. This is where you'll be getting your notifications and, and letters from Nintendo about deals and uh, information pertaining to the system. Like right now, see, coming soon. Amazon Instant Video, Hulu Plus, and YouTube are coming soon to Wii U. They're already here, so I don't really need to worry about that. But this is the big ticket item. How to transfer data from the Wii to the Wii U. If you have a Wii console, you can transfer your data straight to the Wii U using an SD card. Basically, you'll have to download a program from the Wii Shop channel onto your original Wii. Then you just put your SD card in, It'll back up all the data and transfer it to the Wii U. You are unable to select which data does transfer. I think it just automatically picks things for you and transfers it. And once you transfer it to the Wii U, you cannot transfer it back. So this is a one-way ticket. You can't transfer things to the Wii U and then take Wii U data and transfer it back to the Wii. Now the last thing is just a little note about the Nintendo Network saying welcome and talking a little bit about what you can do. It's pretty basic stuff, just telling you how to enjoy the Nintendo Network, how to create a network ID if you don't know how, and how to link it to your uh, your Wii U profile. It's basically the stuff we just went over in the video, just with a little more detail. Again, I apologize, I couldn't record the uh, gamepad screen, which is where most of the action was going on, but I think it worked out in the end. Anyways, that's pretty much the bulk of what you need to know about the Wii U system. Uh, I think I might come back and maybe do a video on how to set up Amazon or something. I don't know, I think people can figure that out on their own. With that being said, there it is guys. This is Nintendo's brand new system, the Wii U. Q.
keep your eyes on the channel. I'm going to be uploading a ton of videos from, uh, at the very least, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I'm going to check out the uh, all-new Nintendo Land game, which came with my system. So, you know, it's free. Might as well play it. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. As always, this is the Black Link. Stay frosty.